Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is the segment where we take a quick look at some of the hottest floor plans on the market today. I'm standing inside of a brand new 2023 Jayco J Flight 267 BHS. This is a family camper. It has dedicated bunks in the back, and it comes in dry at just under 6,000 pounds, which puts it solidly in the half-ton towable market giving a large variety of trucks and heavy SUVs the opportunity to take this thing on vacation. Let's get started in the back where the kids or guests are going to sleep. We have double over double bunks. These have a 600 pound capacity. They have a very, very thick teddy bear mattress on it. It's pretty comfortable. I've laid on it, I've slept on it. I slept great. So. I think that's pretty cool. If you needed to, you could double the mattresses up since they're the same size, or you could pull one out and use that space for storage. I've seen all kinds of things happen with these bunk spaces. That's directly across from our bathroom, which has a sink outside of it. They've taken some of that space away from the inside. They put the sink outside, giving people a chance to wash up or brush their teeth while somebody else is using the facilities. There's some storage down below, a mirror up above, and a place to put a hand towel inside the bathroom itself. We have a tub enclosure shower. Now at six foot three, I definitely end up in the skylight a bit when I climb up in here. But as you can see, I do have room to move around and take that shower. The toilet right at the base of it has plenty of space to sit down and stretch your knees out in front of you. And because this is a tub, if you did have small children, toddlers, you could bathe them while sitting right here. I think that's kind of neat, especially considering that the head of the shower pops off, making it easy to rinse them up. Pushing out of there, we end up in what is effectively our dining room and our kitchen. They've used nice, bright, white cabinetry. This is a holdover from last year, so they haven't changed up that much, but it still looks great. I think this is an awesome little kitchen. They have, at the very end of it, some pantry space. This could also double at, because there's cabinets above and below as storage for the kids' clothes. I can see using that in a multitude of ways. We have a Norkel 12 volt refrigerator. It's got a big freezer compartment up top, lots of space inside for storing drinks and snacks and food for being on the go. Above here, we have our high point microwave below that three burner stove with a glass top. So that's just extending that counter space so that we have more room to prep meals. All around that, we've got plenty of cabinetry for storing all your odds and ends in the kitchen. The dinette is a booth. Booth dinettes are great. I love them because they also serve as a second bed, a guest bed, if you will. It puts together pretty simply. The table pops up off of its legs, drops down, and the cushions slide out. And there's storage up underneath because storage is the name of the game. It's ever so important. At the other end of the slide, we have our jackknife sofa. This thing's kind of neat. It has a couple of cup holders in the center. It lays down flat to be yet another bed, and it's sitting across from our entertainment center. The entertainment center is on the wall that separates the main bedroom from the rest of the coach. We have storage up above and down below. It's rather shallow, but we could definitely get a few things in there. A nice head unit with Bluetooth connectivity. You get to pick your own TV that you want to put in here, and that separates us from the main bedroom. The bedroom has sliding doors on both sides. And inside, we have a decent size queen bed. And all of this is encapsulated by our storage for the clothes. So on either side, we have hanging racks. And we could potentially put up a TV in here. We have a TV backer right here on the wall. There's power and cable out right above it. And below the bed, we have some built-in storage. It's on a strut assist, so it pops right up. You can see there's some extra supplies from Jayco hiding in there now. Before we go outside, I want to pop right over here and run this slide in so you guys can see what it looks like all closed up. 
As you can see with the slide in, we do still have access to the kitchen. I can use the sink, I can use the fridge. It's easy to get in and out of. It swings open completely. That pantry we talked about before, easy accessible. And it's a little bit of a squeeze, but I can get right through this slide area and get into that bathroom that we saw earlier. So all in all, I'd say this thing gets a pretty good slide in score. We can access most everything that we need to access, even though it is a little bit tight. Let's pop outside and check out some of those features out there. Outside, we see a lot of features that we find across the Jayco line. I'm standing on the solid steps. These things are super nice. They have a quick adjust knob for making the feet make contact with the ground in a way that keeps the stairs nice and level. Above me, we have an electric awning. This is LED lit. It runs out at the touch of a button. At the very front, we have our pass-through storage. You can see right now all the way to the other side of it. It's nice and big. We can get camp chairs and all sorts of odds and ends in there. At the very, very front, we have an electric tongue jack. I think this is nice. On this level of trailer, I expect to see that. On the patio side, we do have Bluetooth controlled outside speakers, so you can play your tunes. And they've given us a couple of other things that I think are neat. Not only is this riding on Goodyear tires, up above that, we have a couple of cool things. They have attached a TV mount to the outside of the camper, and they've gone ahead and given you the backer plate so that you can hook up your TV outside. Right below it, we have power and our cable or satellite out. At the very back, we have an outside kitchen. This is kind of cool. It has some storage here with some drawers, a small electric refrigerator for holding drinks and a few other things. And they've given us a capital griddle, which attaches to a stand that Jayco has provided that mounts to the bumper. On the back side, you'll notice that we have a spray port. This has a quick disconnect. It ties into the main plumbing, so cold water is gonna come out of this. You can either draw off of the primary tank, so if you're boondocking and your water pump is on, this will work, or if you have city fill and pressurized water coming in, it'll just squirt right out from there. They put the power point at the very back. Now, this is a 30 amp camper the way we've optioned it in. It has 115 KAC up top, and it has the ability to hook up solar. All of that's all pre-wired and ready to go. Spare tire mounted to the bumper, and let's push around to the other side where we see that this does also, in addition to that spray port, have an outside shower. We have our city water connection, black tank flush, and all of our sewer connections down low. This is where we're gonna hook up to dump our tanks. The slide is on this side as well. You can see it's out right now. It's a pretty decent sized slide. I think that that's really what's given it that space inside that we saw. And then that brings us back to the front where we have access to that pass-through storage from the other side. Up underneath that, I want you to notice that this does have stabilization jacks. They're manual. You can run those down with the provided tool or you can get a socket adapter for your drill and run it down that way. It's definitely faster. I recommend it. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe. We're always looking for more viewers. And Check us out online at southernrv.com or on all of our social media. We're Southern RV. We're in McDonough, Georgia, right off of I-75. Come see us. And until next time, guys, happy camping.